What's up guys, I'm going to be talking about the effects section in Zeta Plus, and this is where basically everything comes together. So I have a basic saw and a basic filter, which is pretty fun, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go around in a circle, and then we'll come back. Uh, so we have our distortion section, right? So we have um, the distortion section in the filter, uh, all voices, or in the filter and all voices. Uh, so we have... Um, different modes. So I have this. Right, we have our filter here. Soft drive. Hard drive. Valve amp. We we'll have to boost the gain a bit. Oops. Heavy metal and off. We can have our destination so it only affects filter one. We have our tone, which is a tone control. So we can accentuate uh, harmonics and harmonics we don't want. A uh, decimator that is um, how you would say like that big crusher you'd find in Silent One. It emulates those old machines that had a low kind of sample rate. You get some really interesting effects that way. Uh, we have our compressor. Um, we can have fast, medium, or slow. Threshold ratio and gain um, be really. It's really, uh, really good for say pads. You want a slow compressor just to kind of, you know, ride the audio, uh, and all that. I should explain the effect routing. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, everything runs in series, and you can ch switch things around. Um, traditionally, you would want say a delay before the reverb so keep that way you can have the compressor at the end you can have a uh, distortion at the end and you turn them all on via this and it's really interesting how it all comes together and that's your basic routing nothing much to it uh, we have our chorus and flanger which is modulation so it's not an it's not another lfo it's basically it's a chorus and flanging and chorus flanger and you can sync a lot of these. We'll go stereo chorus and we'll sync it uh, one bar. It's kind of a zippery effect. And uh, yeah, we will we'll set the wave to either triangle sign or like another sign. slow one and you can see what it does just with a simple uh, uh, saw wave so we'll turn that off because it's irritating delay we have a bunch of delays stereo ping pong delay and cross delay and LRC delay I'm not sure what this is I think it might be tape oh Interesting. I like I like stereo delay or maybe even a tape delay, and we can uh, EQ the wet signal. That's pretty fun, and we can have multiple delays running at once. So I'll just have that set up, so... And that's basic, your basic delay. Uh, reverb, uh, there's four types. Mulder, midroom, large room, and plate. Plate reverb. And I'll just turn this off. Plate is, it's more of a metallic sound. I'm not sure how it's made. Small room is a small room kind of simulation. So it's good for like drums and stuff, but sometimes it's good for, you know, some leads. Mid hall, which is like, you know, a mid hall and a large hall, which is more of like a cathedral reverb. We can EQ the reflections and make some really cool stuff. 
and that's basically that. This is kind of boring. Um, equalizer mode, we have, a, well, it's a parametric EQ, and there's a lot of different kinds of simulations. Um, there's speaker cabinet simulations, and this is really where you shape your sound. And I'll turn that on. This can add a lot of interesting uh, guitar bassy sounds. So we can have we can have a simulating a radio. Other speakers. Let's see. Multiphase. And it's, yeah, it's basically the shaping of a sound post uh, all of your synthy goodness that you've done. So we have our EQ mode. So uh, we'll have a wide EQ mode, and it acts as a parametric EQ. So the the frequencies that are most uh, adjusted traditionally are available. So like, if you want to boost, you want to boost one k or uh, around six k for you know presence. And it's not so much of like a like an Ableton 8 like EQ, but you get a lot of uh, nice sounds. You can even add more bass. And yeah, the EQ mode is great. I haven't really explored it that much, but you can kind of figure it out. And there you have it. And that's pretty much it um yeah also there's a limit here and a level so you can have a kind of a soft limit post so you don't you know accidentally hurt anyone's face um yeah and then there you have it goes out to the output and that's basically it i hope i was entertaining and i hope you learned a lot and uh yeah all right take care and let me know what i should kind of go over next